YouTube and welcome to your 37th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be learning about three methods of string called substring, substr and slice. So these three methods are basically used to extract a portion of string from a very long string. So for example let's create a string or my string, any string you like, like let's say I am learning javascript right now and my t-shirt color is black yeah I'm wearing a black t-shirt so this is my string and let's console log the substring of this string as I told you this is a string method so it will take the string dot method which is uh, substring and in substring the first parameter is the starting index value that means start from zero index the zeroth character and just slice till the tenth character is reached so this would give us 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and tenth but tenth is not included so it would give us till ninth so it would give us I am learn so that makes no sense actually but uh, who cares so uh, substring does not consider the character at the last value of the second parameter so that means that it would include the character at the first value that is I would be included but the second parameter which says tenth the 10th character or basically the 11th character would not be included which is I so let's see it in action and we get I am learn the next thing is the substring F S U B S T R. so how it is different is that this method down here takes first parameter similar to substring that is the starting index position but the next parameter or the second parameter of this method is the number of characters to move on so for example the tenth uh, position of index is at i and we say okay so you are at i and move four characters forward so it would give us zero one two three so it would give us this string and if we see it in action oops did i just spell the console cross null <laughs> Uh, let's refresh this uh, we get i and g so what happens here is we are at a uh, tenth position which is the i one and we say to javascript okay move four characters forward so zero one oops so zero one two three so it moves four characters forward and remember to count from zero so substring accepts the first value as the starting index and the next uh, parameter as the number of strings to move forward the next method we have is the slice one and the substring and slice one are almost similar methods with just a few minor differences so slice would also return the same thing except the initial index and the last index of character does not include the last one and just like the substring method so you see that substring and slice work pretty much same but the difference in substring and slice method is if a uh, start of uh, the starting index is greater than the uh, stopping index then the substring method would swap these two for example if we do 10 and 0 that is the start at the 10th character and end at the 0th character which is going backwards but it does not actually go backwards but swap these two values so if I refresh the console now then still we get I am learn but uh, with the uh, our slice method this does not happen so it won't swap these two values it would keep the same order and if we refresh this we get nothing because going backwards is not possible in slice so and there are a couple of more differences in substring and slice but all the time you could actually use these uh, in place of one another so this was a tutorial on substring substring str basically and this
the slice method of the string so in the next tutorial i don't know we'll be discussing what we'll be discussing but it will be awesome so i'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching